Hello and welcome back to another mod video. This time it's going to be for a very, very good mod called OmniCC. Now, OmniCC pretty much will put text on your hotkeys, so let's just target this dummy and if you have a look at my kill command, that's number 5 on my left action bar. As you can see, I cast it and then it brings up a nice big cooldown timer. And I've set it up so that once uh, once it gets to two seconds, it will start displaying in tenths of a second. That really allows me to make better decisions, such as like it when I use Arcane Shot, because I can measure the amount of time that left in the cooldown uh, against my internal cooldown, or what's that thing called? Global cooldown, that's the one. So Omni CC is what I'd pretty much say is an essential tool to anyone who plays the game, whether it's raiding, PvP, it gives you very good information in a very easy to see manner. Now, ideally, you don't want to spend all your time staring at hot, at like hot bars and stuff, but I do still think that it's really good to have the information there. So, as you can see, if I go and activate everything, the, when there's a longer cooldown, it will just display the amount of seconds on a really short one. Like if it's just about to come off cooldown, it starts doing tenths of seconds. That's very easy. I just kind of messed up my rotation there, but you get the idea. Now, in terms of uh, things. This is this functionality is sort of done by LVI, which I covered in my first mod video for World of Warcraft, but this this is more customizable and I think it does a much better option, which is why I use it on top of LVI. Now, if you want to disable it in LVI, you just go to action bars, cooldown text, and just hit the checkbox. Now to access the options, you just type in slash omni cc and here you go. So I'll just run through the options and tell you what they mean. So first you want to enable it, obviously, and then you want to make sure that it scales to fit all the text in the frames. That just means that it makes, you know, like it's a good size. Optimized performance. Who does not want optimized performance? Click it. Now, minimum size to display text. I just left that. I think I bumped it to 10 above the default. That means it's a little bit bigger and it's easy to see. Now, the next one's minimum duration to display text. So if something has got, I have it set to three. So if something has got like a two second cooldown, it won't bother showing the text because it's two seconds. You don't really need the text. Now, this next one is the number, uh, the duration to display tenths of seconds. As I said earlier, when something's under two seconds, I like to be able to see the tenths of seconds so that I can decide whether I can fit in another arcane shot. I set this to two, but you can really set it to whatever you want. Uh, there's also the minimum duration of time to display it as minutes, minutes, seconds, seconds. And I should probably actually, I don't know, put that to one, one minute. I like more information, so I'll put that on. And then there's a finish effect. So finish effect pretty much means that a spell effect is put on the spell when it's about when it's finished. Uh, it's finished its cooldown. Now, this means that only your big spells that have an over 60 second cooldown will display the effect. That just makes things less cluttered and easy to see. Now you can also modify your textiles and stuff, I was happy enough with the default and the position. Now, I don't really get why you do position, so if you do have, if you do use this, then tell me. As you can see, you can make it appear in all the different uh, quadrants, I just have it in the center, I think that makes the most sense. And that's really it. As you can see, there's not really a lot to this mod. Um, that error message in my, in my chat box, that's probably just some sort of conflict. I have a few different mods on in at the minute that I don't normally have. So, yeah, it's a very lightweight mod, it won't give you much uh, in the way of performance issues or anything like that, and it provides essential detail to raiding. It lets you optimize your rotation. You'll probably, once you get used to times, you'll be able to squeeze out more spells within one rotation, um, if your rotation works like that, of course, and uh, should optimize your stuff, help you do more DPS, and that's really it. So thanks for watching this video. If you would, uh, if you have any requests actually for mods for me to cover and try them out, so you don't have to, do say in the description. But other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.